Hi Sazie and welcome to my channel. Today I am making watercolour flowers for beginners. Stylized ones too. So they would be great. So um, I've just cut a load out. You don't have to cut a load out. You can do them straight onto the page as I show you as well. These are I've just done that design so I thought I'd show you that. <laughs> but anyway I've done loads and lot loads. These are some of these are ones like Natasha made. I'll tell you about those. Obviously Natasha is a di different, very different to Mike, but she did inspire me to make this video that I was going to make anyway. So I'll show you how to paint things like this. Move back a bit to improve focus. <laughs> Please join me today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video. Press the notification bell with your crafty fingers. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. And please join my Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts. I'm planning to do more videos on there as well. And we've got printables on there as well. Okay, so let's go. Right then. So what I've been doing is uh, painting and cutting out flowers. You can't, I can't believe how something simple looks in a journal it looks absolutely fantastic even though you think on paper it looks horrible you put it in a journal it looks amazing and so that's what i'm just doing i'm just going to show you how to how to paint some types of flowers um and combat what i did was i watched the natasha's video because i was going to do this let me show you i was going to do this or something similar on video. Then I saw Natasha's video, so it's like a combination of the two. These would look amazing actually in journal. But um, and then she sh then she did some really thick black outlines, which would look really nice. I've done that in paint. Anyway, let me show you. Let me show you. Where's my brush? Right, I'm using a big thick brush. It's a size ten. Yeah, now that's massive, isn't it? <laughs> size ten. Right. Okay, so I'm getting a nice orange. Now, Natasha did middle separately. You don't have to do middle separately, or you can. I'll show you. I have done some middle separately. Middles of the flowers I'm talking about. So, she did, so I'm doing circles. I quite. I'll see if I can make them a little bit bigger than what I have been doing. Like that. And there's. This is going to be four petals. So I'm doing them opposite each other like that. And as you can see, it's not even even. It's not even even even. Not even. <laughs> not even 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 is it? <laughs> there you go. Even say even three times in a sentence. There you go. There. And then there's um, other things you can do like elongated petals. A good way to do them is like this. I'm just making sure you can see because I know it's quite. Um, so do some that shaped petals as well, like a leaf, if you can draw leaves. But if you can't draw them, let me show you how to do those. You, you think you can't, I can't, actually I can't manage to draw that. Let's do it like this instead. Let's get a nice, let's get a darker colour. Draw a line, draw another line, draw a line there and a line there. And leave an, a gap in the middle. Now join that with that. It doesn't matter if you do big fat petals or really skinny petals at all because it's fine. Or you do a big fat petal there and a skinny petal next. It's fine. So I'm not. I'm purposely doing them slightly. Not sure. I'm not. It's all the same, aren't they? <laughs> I'm trying to make them smaller and fatter and smaller. And then. You can do that in the middle. If you fancy it, you can also join little things like that. So that gives you a bit extra there, doesn't it? Give you a bit of a point. And bearing in mind, you might have to cut it out if you're not doing it in a journal. <laughs> Unless you like cutting, I hate doing it. Well, not hate, enough to me. I dislike it. I dislike draw. I dislike cutting, fussy cutting, and all that because it, I'm in so impatient. Right, that's an idea. See, that's an idea. So you can do it like that. Um, what else can I show you? There's other things I can definitely show you. 
how to do I know there's roses, I'm going to show you roses. Shall I show you roses now? Shall we go a bit closer? Right, well, well, let's find a place for the rose here somewhere. Uh, I'll get a nice dark rose. Okay, so we go, we can go like this. It doesn't matter if the lines touch, it doesn't matter if they've got a bit of a gap. Something like that. Okay, anything like that would be fine. I'm just waiting for the others to dry. Um, oh, while we're waiting for the others to dry, let me show you another one. Um, I don't know whether to try, because sometimes I, I some of these and I've got two different colours. Actually, that, that has got yellow on it. See that yellow there? It's got red. Let me have a go. <laughs> you don't have to have different colours on it. That's oh, Making sure you can see a lot. Do this, do this, this, this and this. So I'm drawing a head basically, two arms and two legs. That's all I'm doing there. <laughs> or if you can't do that, there's this one. North, south, east and west. And it's got a gap now in the middle. <laughs> yeah. So another thing you can do is, ooh, come on, come on, come on, paint. I've, now that green has gone right down to the bottom, so I'm right at the bottom of my green, so I must have used this most. So, oh, that's not very, let's get a bit more substantial than that. Right, there we go. So I've got leaves, you can draw leaves like that. So if you can't draw, as I say, if you can't draw that, then that, then draw a line and then fill one gap, do one side and then try and mirror the other side. Doesn't matter, that's a leaf shape, that's fine. Let's do another leaf shape. Okay, like this. And you can just fill the gaps in with you can do middles as well if you like. You can draw little circles if you want to put them in the middle instead of the one you've got because that would look really nice. But we are going to emphasise them with a black sharpie if that motorbike shuts up. Okay, <laughs> very noisy in this front, the front of the house. Okay, I was at the back. That's why it wasn't so noisy, I think. There we go, and you've got these. Uh huh. And and what else can you do? What else can you do? Come on, what do you usually do? Come on. <laughs> what do we do? We well, put little dots. We can put spots. We can put dots. You can put black dots. And oh, I've got grey dots on some of them actually. Look really nice. And I've combinate combinated. I've combinated. I don't know. If I've done that, but I've combinated somehow. Com combined. I think <laughs> that's the word. Um, yes, I could put green, put green, I've got green on the brush, let's put green in the middle as well. So you can do that, any of that, oh, see, see that's quite close, isn't it, but I'll see if I can get a bit close, where is it? Oh, there you are, see that looks really nice, doesn't it? And then you can get, and then you can... I'm not even showing you, am I? But I'm not sure. Oh, I am. It's there. It's on the edge. Right, so there. So we've basically done that. So you can do things like that. You can do it in the middle as well. You can put spots on them, actually. Right, let's uh, let's do a black round the edge of this one. So I'm going to do it with white, but I'll do it with black. You can do it with white, I suppose. There we go. Look at this. Can you look at this? Yes, you can. <laughs> Right, there we go and then I can do a big middle like that and again whatever like I've got it on I've got the type on the side but I don't think it matters and the type's going anyway up in these okay and then I'm going to put some green on again because I've got green on my brush and it looks great and then instead of doing stripes you can do spots at the end Yay. And then on the leaves, this is how you do the leaves. So you've got the leaf 
and you go like this. I showed the rose shape, didn't I? Yeah, I'm going to show you another one in a minute. Right, so any way you like. Draw a line so far down and then just do a V. You can do two Vs if you like. Oh, and there's the middle of a flower if you like as well. And... And I've changed the shape of the leaf slightly there. Which way shall we have it? You can have it, have it. Let's have it that way. There we go. <clears throat> and this one, just draw the circles. I'm going to get some out in a minute and show you what some I've done before. Oh, look at these. Oh, I need to show you that rose, don't I? So you can do it like that. And then, if you've got pens like this, you can colour those in. Where are you? Come on, you. Where are you, look where are you looking? You're not looking in the right place. There we go. So, <laughs> there we go. Right, and then you can do add little. Add bits, add bits. Yep, like that. Dots, all sorts. I think they look great with dots in the middle. Obviously, flowers often have those uh, dots in the middle, don't they? Yeah. Flowers that we've made up, yeah. Right, okay, we'll have a few dots. Oh, oh, yeah, I know what else I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what else you can do with these? Look as well, you can mess about with dots on the leaves as well. Yeah, like that. You don't have to go everywhere, you can just go one place and do a few little dots. You don't have to do dots at all, but I think it looks really nice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we haven't done the rose. Let's do the rose. Let me show you how to do the rose because the rose is good. Yeah. I okay, haven't done that either. Okay, so the rose, right. I would try and perhaps follow that in some way, but then there isn't it to follow anyway. Look, you've got a big thing that would still, still carry on. Let's show you. So I'm going around there, and then it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm just trying to. I would just carry on doing the spiral anyway. And another way of doing a rose, you perhaps do it, start with a sharpie if you like and then colour it in. But let me show you another way of doing one. So start to join that and come out, come out, come out. And keep doing that. That's what I've done in one of my um, flower pictures somewhere. Yeah, keep doing that. That looks really nice. Let's see if I can get, rinse that green off and get that dark red. Let's see if we can colour it in. And you can put highlights on it if you do, if you uh, like as well. So you don't have to go and quite colour around the edge of each of each black bit like that, and don't colour in all of it. Now you've left a highlight, or perhaps the other way around would be better, I don't know. <laughs> so colour around the... I think so actually. Doesn't matter. That's another way of doing it. See, like that. And a bit more, because I think that's too much. So I'm bringing it in a bit more. So we've got less. I don't think it, it. I think less is more. Less white is more. Yeah. There we go. That looks nice. And if you if you've coloured it in accidentally, you can come along with a white pen and acrylic. Or I don't know if pos I don't know if I assume these are sort of acrylic. I don't know. <laughs> but these are really good anyway. Whatever they are. We haven't done this one. Look. Mustn't miss out our. One like that. Um, I've done a great big middle there. And as I say, you can come along. Oh, is this? Oh, I thought it was yellow. It's not. It's actually peachy. That'll do. Something like that. Or oh, spots of. You can also get a small brush and do spots of paint, can't you? 
Yeah, let's do some of that. Some of that little, some yellow as well. And they can do a bit of yellow in the middle even like that. Anything, anything. And then cut them out. Let me show you the ones I've cut out. I might have, I might have forgotten to do show you something, so I might show you something else in a minute. Depends what I've forgotten. I'm out in light. Hey, there's a leaf. A leaf's escaped. Right. Oh no, where are they? They're in here. I know I've put them in here loose. The loose. Oh, they are. Yeah, they are. The moose loose about the hoose. <laughs> There we go. That sort of thing. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yes, I've forgotten to do that. That's what I forgot to do. Look. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, oh yes. So I've done these, for example. Let's show you. Now you can come along and put dots on the on the black like that, and it looks really nice. Yeah. I know this is a bit more work than probably the whimsical ones, but, but she did a lot of embroidery and stuff like that as well. So, yeah, if you watched it. Okay, and yeah, where are we with that? Isn't that nice? Simple, so simple. It's just a, just a few little dots make all the difference. And there's another one I've done. And I, oh, there it is. and I really like that. Probably say, probably the camera's going to say to me, move back a bit to get keep in focus. Right, okay, so we've got things like that. We've got our leaves. Let's show you the right. This is an example of those. So you can do it like that as well, and then stick them on. But I thought that might be quite difficult for some people because I know they have trouble with the hands. So I thought if you just do the um, ones. I mean that they're hard for me as well not than those but the tiny ones are difficult for me but let's have a look what I've done I've got a little so there's something like oh this is something like Natasha did but then I've got one of those roses and I've put it in the middle like that she's not she's not doing it like me I've painted that on there she painted the whole sheet and then drawn the lines and cut them out but Things like that. Be nice. Where are we? There we are. Okay, very muddy colour that is. Yeah. Well, that's the sort of thing I like. The brush shows. Put the brush shows on. Yay, the brush show. Right, is there anything else I've forgotten? I know I didn't show you how to draw those. Um, oh. I didn't know I'd put, how did I put circles in the middle? Might have just the way I brushed it. <laughs> I put circles in the middle somewhere. Where's this? Let's have a go and see what that would look like. See that in the middle of that? That looks nice, doesn't it? I've got a lot of these are actually joined like that. And I've painted some on the page as well. Um, the, that's, yeah, these are both those ones where you go like that so you can do this you can leave it as three like that you see that did I show you is that it oh yeah <laughs> yay <laughs> right and then and then and then and then the middle that see the even watercolors will do it that's i've made it tried to make it a bit more opaque than normal um opaque would be if you want the perfect opaque colors you can get some gouache designers gouache is obviously the best but you can get student quality or something i usually used to use designers gouache at college see there's something like that in the middle look that nice when it's yeah that really, that's really useful that isn't it I could do a different colour. Uh, anything else I haven't showed you? So well, let me just show you this one. This is one I saw. Uh, I'm looking at a flower, and it, this flower is absolutely tiny. Let me just show you the shape of it. You might like it. 
stay there, don't fall off. Right, so the shape of that flower is, and let me show you, because it's not like quite like that. That's wrong. <laughs> yeah, but it was absolutely tiny and it was pink. Or lilac. I can't remember if it's I can't remember what flower it was. I know it's part of a bit a load of flower. Right, we're not going to paint over there, are we? I'm going to paint it here so you can see. So basically it's like this, it's thin. And then like that. You might know what they are. like that those I think that would be quite hard to cut out so <laughs> I don't know you could do those actually yeah you could and um, yeah there's loads of those on it I think right uh, what else does I say um, yeah and there's those there's those some weeds as well they're like that I can't remember, I think there's probably six, uh, five petals, but I'm going to do four. So there's those, and then I'm going to take some colour off a minute. Colour it in. And you can add some. Add a colour in the middle there, and then I haven't got anything. Oh, hold on, that might do it. And then what did it have? Oh, that might be too. Well, that's too pale. And then, oh, what is that? I've got a broad, a brush, Faber Castell. It had some lines down its sleeves like this. Leaves, they're leaves, yeah. Okay. Leaves. <laughs> Petals, dear. Right. And then just do a few dots in the middle. It didn't have that, but <laughs> that will do. And then I'm going to put this, I know that looks quite nice. So I'm going to put this around the edge of this because I think it really brings it out. Not colouring over the what I've painted by any means. Oh, so pretty. See, that's another idea. Okay, look at me doing a big highlight there when I don't need one. Right, I love that. I'm glad I remembered to tell you about those. And of course you can do, you know, if you can paint flowers, paint flowers and show me. Show me on the group. I'd love to see on the group. Right, okay. I know some of the ladies were saying they needed some help with watercolours on the group, so there we go. And, uh, you know, encouragement is the word, isn't it, really? Because it's it, you think to yourself, oh, it looks so complicated. I watched a video the other day of how to do... Oh, an easy way to draw flowers. Yes. Okay. Even I wouldn't attempt it. I would not. <laughs> I would not even attempt the way this person showed you how to draw flowers. No way. It's like, they can obviously draw flowers. I mean, I can draw some something, can't I? But <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. <laughs> No way could I do that, and I don't think anybody else. Because I thought, you know, I thought we'll get some tips from this person. Let's get some tips from. No. Oh, is that? Oh, has that gone down? Oh, that's down at the bottom. The yellow's at the bottom as well. It's all running out. There's only there's really cheap these paints were though. So there we go. Let me just. Maybe I can just do a three like that. So you can do that. Right, I'm hoping that's going to dry in a minute. I'm going to see, if, see what happens when I go over this. See if it looks any better because it looks really scrawny, doesn't it? 
That is an actual flower shape, so. Yeah. I think I've basically showed you what I need to show you. And I mean, if you want to cut them all out, I mean, I've got loads now. <laughs> Right, is these dry yet? Let's see, that's nearly dry already. So you can shape your flowers if you like as well. Oh yeah, a lot of them do have heart shapes. Now I was looking at flowers. They do have heart shapes. So heart shapes, should we try and have a go at a heart shaped flower on the petal? All right, heart-shaped flowers. You can do that with pencil, of course, first, can't you? Don't have to do it straight with sharpies. All right, um, I would do the middle first, and then uh, what are you drawing there? You're drawing a backwards. No, that's a forward C, isn't it? A C or a Oh, it looks like one of those base clefts to me. <laughs> but obviously, if you want to draw, if you want to draw it the same, you could turn it upside down. No reason why not. And you can always practice drawing hearts, can't you? If you can't draw hearts, just keep practicing. If you can't do something, keep practicing, and you'll be able to do it. Uh, apparently, tracing does help as well. So, if you want to trace something, so if you draw the perfect heart, get a piece of tracing paper and um, use that. Am I showing you? Oh yeah, that's that. I know what I'm like. Let's use that orange isn't. There's not there's plenty of orange left, so I use some of that. So you can do it backwards like that, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it first and then you can do it that and then colour it in, can't you? If you fancy you can do it with a pencil, yeah. So you can try and get it right doing it with a pencil. I'm just used to painting it straight on. Okay. And it's not dry yet. It seems to be very quick to dry. It might be the weather. <laughs> the weather's warm. Right, there we go. It doesn't get that humid here. Sometimes it does. But not like my son in Maine. <laughs> it says it's, it really gets humid in Maine. Right. Yeah. Apparently in other countries like I don't know they have dry heat, don't they? Is it Spain? I don't know. And some I've got some dots along the black. Am I showing you? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I've got, I keep forgetting I've got it close up. There we go, we could do it all the way down as well. That looks nice. See that? See, it's just stylized. It doesn't have to be perfect flowers. Stylized flowers look amazing. Um, I always think that. And then, obviously, you can put extra highlights on here as well. Um, I don't know, just do a few lines in white. Yeah, you don't look nice. It's mixed media now, you see, because I'm using this and I'm using watercolours and I'm using Sharpies. So we're doing mixed media, aren't we? Um, got some highlights on there as well. Just doing them at the top. Like that. And possibly there. So I've got a shiny flower. I'm just trying to show you now what it would look like if you decorated a journal page with something like this. Oh, 
Oh, that's got four petals, the rest have got five, but it looks so pretty. Uh, so you could do something like that down the page. Um, I don't, oh yeah, that leaf's a bit big. I've got smaller leaves than that. Come on, what are you doing? There we go. How about that? That looks quite nice, doesn't it? That one hasn't got leaf. I've got hundreds of leaves. Come on, where are they all? Oh, that's so cute. There we go, it's upside down. Upside down leaf, come on. Right way round, that's it. You don't have to have leaves on, but they look quite nice. Yeah, and I haven't stuck them down, but I thought they'd look... This is my demo journal, so I could stick them down in this, couldn't I? Big leaf, that's like... Um, no, that's not a leaf. Oh! That one's not a, that one's got a false middle, so you can stick them on if you like. Obviously you've got this little mini one. Um, I don't know, would that? Two different colour roses. <laughs> uh, that looks quite nice. Um, you can also do that. If you don't like the middle, you can always draw an extra middle, couldn't you? Oh, there's one with four. I could swap something, come now, let's swap you. There we go, how about that? So then you've got a couple then with four. Why have I knocking the sorry about knocking the camera? You know, they look so nice, don't they? Really pretty. Yay. Down the page. And that's the type that <laughs> Natasha did. I think she, obviously it's a lot better than that. I think I wish she would have put a, a middle in. Yay! But I, I really enjoyed painting these. That's why I thought I would show you them. I know they're not a very, not a very popular choice for a lot of people. I know a lot of people do like to know how to paint them. So I'm going to call this beginner flowers. Beginner flowers, yeah, beginner flowers. Okay, beginner watercolour flowers. Stylized as well, aren't they? So they're stylized. And um, yes, I've got loads. I can see all the, I can see all them going. All the roses, all, all the roses. Okay. Um, and then obviously, let's get all my little bits off the other journal. Hey, I've got that one. I could put that one on there instead or something. And then obviously you can do it in your journal straight away. Then you don't have to cut them out, do you then? And then you can do them straight into your journal like this. Okay, that's probably wet before, wasn't it? Come through the other side. No. And that's a sharpie. Ooh, so. Right then. And then do that little thing. Ooh, don't it look good? Same one the days putting dots. It's easy. It's easy, easy, easy. All I'm doing is outlining, and you know how to draw them now. Paint them. And you can always use a pencil. There you go, nice pretty designs. In your journal. And you can do extra bits like that, you know, like these little sticks and things. Ooh, I must say, that looks so nice. Uh, I even did a massive pet layer by accident, but hey, I'm going to go with the flow because that's just nature, apparently. Isn't it? <laughs> it's just nature. It did it slightly bigger than average. Okay, so that's nice. 
So I'll show you there, close it up. Or we can do it like this. Bing! There we go. Nice ones there. So look at the ones I've just done. Look, they look pretty. Yo! Okay then. Okay, so I hope you do enjoy. I did enjoy my content today. Please give me a thumbs up. Share my video with your friends. Press the notification bell with your crafty fingers. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Okay. And take care everybody and goodbye.